How about you, Mikel? How's pre-season been for you? It's been good. Uh, first day I started joining, joining the team after the, the bad injury I had uh, last year at the end of the season. And uh, touch wood, my ankle feels good. I'm feeling well and uh, we're just getting ready for the first game because it's going to be a, a hard season. You will be ready for that? I will be ready, yeah. You went to Asia, of mm -hmm. course. Um, the word crazy has been thrown around uh -huh. quite a lot when we asked the players about that. What were your experiences like? I was really surprised. Everybody was saying, oh, in China, the supporters are, are crazy. They're really passionate. And, uh, but you don't realise they're too far away from us and, and you don't realise how close they feel to the, to the club. But uh, we felt really lucky to have that much support somewhere, as I said, that far away from our country. They're watching the games at 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. They know everything about the club and uh, they're really, really passionate and they are different kind of fans and, and, and for us it was good to, to feel that uh, they are there. We're in Germany now, of course, no mm. fans around, a very different atmosphere, yeah. but this is where the hard work happens. Yeah, but this is like a camp. I think uh, it was a very busy schedule when we went to China. We didn't have that much time uh, for training. We were traveling a lot, playing games and doing all the commercial stuff. I think they was wanted a proper camp. I get a lot of training done and get the crew together again and uh, I think it's, it's a good thing to do. Everyone knows that last summer was a, a difficult one for the club. You arrived right at the end of that mm -hmm. transfer window. Do you sense now that the squad I is so much more settled? It is and uh, we've been playing now, all of us, for, for a year and, and we know each other really well. And uh, I always believe that this team if we get everybody in fit and everybody playing at the best level, I think we've got a, a really, really good team. Plus the addition we had this year, that they can make a big difference, and, uh, and I think they will. Hopefully we will be closer. People talk about experienced players, and, and mm. you're, you're one yourself, you came in, Per Mertesacker came in. This summer's signings have got experience as well. Do you think that balance between youth and experience is at the right level now? I think that's what the, the club are trying to do, and uh, I think we've got very lo we are very lucky to have uh, the amount of talent we have uh, coming through the academy, and they're still really young, but some some of them got good experience already at the age of 19, 20, 22, but sometimes you need that extra from from players with a bit more experience, all that, and uh, kind of step forward in, in certain moments, and uh, I think that mix is going to give the team the right balance. The previous season always gives you lessons to learn for the next one. What do Arsenal need to do better in the new season? We have to start better than what we did last season, that's for sure. We have to try to keep the players fit longer than what we did last season because we could not play the, f the same 11 for seven or eight times, I think. And then I think that uh, we can consider as many as we did last season. I think if we drop those three things down, I think we'll be very close. Is that possible? Can that, can that be done? Of course it is possible and we have to think from the day one that we are as good as the other. I, I, I don't see the other teams better than us. I know my team is well and as I said, if everyone is fit and, and comfortable and, and everybody is ready for a fight, I think that uh, we can handle it. You look around the country, you don't see anyone that scares you, worries you? No, it's scarce. Obviously, they are big teams. The two Spanish teams probably are the best two teams in Europe, and they are probably a step ahead of any other clubs in, in Europe at the moment. But in England, obviously, you know, the Man City, they were a champion. They will defend the title this year again. You know how, how good team they have, and, and, and quantity-wise as well, which is important. But uh, I think this year we've gone, we've gone farther. I think uh, we're going to be closer. You showed last season how to beat Man City with that wonderful goal mm. at the Emirates. You're coming towards the first anniversary of your time with Arsenal. How would you sum up the last 12 months? I was, it was a crazy day when I, when I joined the club. And uh, the week before, it was a lot of stuff going on after the Man United came and, and the big loss we had at Old Trafford. So suddenly four or five players joined the club on the same day. And uh, we just tried to rebuild everything really quickly, the atmosphere was in the best, the club was a bit like that, and, uh, and I think we, we did okay, we did good uh, to get it back, I think we're at least where we should, uh, where we should have been, but uh, as I say again, I think this year is 
again, we have to, to move forward. I think everyone's with that ambition. I can feel a different atmosphere. The club is stable right now and, and the fans are excited and I think that's what we need. And you know the club now, you've got Premier League experience, I know yeah. that you know this football club. Can we see more from you this year? I hope so. Uh, every year you're trying to improve uh, your numbers, the way you can help the team. And uh, we will see, depends uh, the way we play, what would the boss uh, would ask me to do. But uh, I always try my best and, and it won't be different.